Hey, have you ever pondered the precarious plight of gay tourists dipping their toes in Indonesia's legal landscape? Well, you're in the right spot, because today we're exploring just what might happen if a fabulous vacation takes a not-so-fabulous turn under Indonesia's new criminal code. First up, let's set the scene. Indonesia, known for its stunning beaches and cultural richness, but also for its complex legal system. Recently, they've stirred the pot with a new law banning sex outside of marriage. Now, you might think I'm just here for the sunsets and sarongs, but these laws have raised a few eyebrows, especially among the LGBTQ plus community. Now, what's this law all about? Essentially, Indonesia's revisiting some old school rules, revamping laws from colonial times, which sounds like a historical hiccup waiting to happen. This includes penalties not just for locals, but potentially for anyone caught with their romantic pants down. But here's where it gets interesting for our rainbow community. While the headlines scream no sex outside marriage, the real tea is that as a tourist, these laws might not even make you blink. The Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, or DFAT if you're into acronyms, hasn't changed its travel warnings. They're basically saying, chill, your holiday snaps are safe. Moving on, Bali's economy is practically fueled by tourism. In 2025, they're expecting a whopping 6 million visitors. That's a lot of beach towels. So despite the legal gloom, Indonesia's tourism board is kind of worried these new laws might scare folks off. They're calling it totally counterproductive. Let's dish some real talk. Indonesia is a patchwork of over 17,000 islands. And while it's predominantly Muslim, it's the chill kind of Muslim, where moderation is the vibe. So even with these new rules, many are whispering, don't sweat it, the party continues. Now, for those who like to play it super safe, here's a cheeky tip. Maybe keep the PDA for private moments. Indonesia is not exactly your go-to for public displays of rainbow affection, so maybe save those kisses for behind closed doors. And what about if things go south? Well, let's not paint it all doom and gloom. There's no massive crackdown on tourists romancing outside the nuptial nest. In fact, authorities seem to have bigger fish to fry, so as long as you're not broadcasting your bedroom antics, you're likely good. To wrap this up, while the new code sounds scary on paper, the vibe on the ground is more unscreen and sarongs than handcuffs and heartbreak. So pack your bags, but maybe pack a little caution too. Enjoy the Bali sun. Just remember, it's not just the sun that can burn if you're not careful. And that's the lowdown on cruising through Indonesia's legal landscape. Whether you're here for the culture, the cuisine, or the coconuts, Keep it cool, keep it consensual, and keep it kind of quiet. Happy travels.